In this video we will show you how to create a three-step workflow executed by three different parties. First I will log on to a Harmony session and I will use the option to create an empty Google Docs spreadsheet where we're going to specify the business process. I will confirm access to the Google accounts and next Harmony will generate a sample process including a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is empty, it contains one sample rule and one sample dialog. The process we're going to support is a quote process requiring a customer name to be entered. Um, let's also assume because we're going to ship a product we need a customer address we obviously need a product name a product price and a order quantity next what we'll do is we'll have a customer accepting the product and um, basically we're going to copy all the fields also for the customer what I'll be adding is a total price I'm using a currency type in euros and we're gonna say accept uh, yes no and that will be a multiple choice yes no the next step would be shipping the product for which we use customer name we use customer address to ship to and we'll have a order quantity that needs to be shipped and we will also add shipment shipment date for which we'll select a uh, date NL field since we have an expression we're gonna add it in the expression sheet sheet so it will be total price is product price times order quantity next thing we'll have to do is we'll have to add some groups we always have a group admin meaning that they have access to all the queues where the dialogues are stored I'm going to create one for customer I'm going to create one for sales department and one for warehouse since we have three dialogues we want to assign the queues uh, those people who can access it to the dialogues so we'll be adding a dialogue name so we say total price uh, exists and what we'll do is we'll have a dialogue uh, dialogue name accept and that has to be done by the customer So this will automatically prompt the dialogue uh, to the customer. Then what will happen is the customer has the option to s accept the order yes or no. The field is called yes no. When it's equal yes, let's prompt it. Equal value yes. Then we'll have the uh, dialogue name ship which will be done by the warehouse. We have now created a business process that is ready to execute. 
So we'll upload it into the cloud, run it on one of our servers, and once it's completed, we can see how this works. Uh, this one is no longer valid because we create a new version. So let's sign on to it and see what happens. We now have three processes or three dialogues. Let's start with the quote. We have a customer name, sample customer 134 Algin Avenue in London. We have a product name, chairs, a price of 10 and an order quantity of 4. So once we submit it, it will inform you, Harmony will inform you that the total price will be 40 and the next step will be to do the accept. Okay, so we submit and in the customer queue, because now customer interaction is required, an entry appears since we are uh, administrator, we have all the rights to all the queues. So we can say accept yes, no, because it's yes, if it says ship will be required. If the customer says no, then this will disappear. Of course, we want to test the positive flow. Customer's going to order. Will be submit. And the only data that has to be filled in, uh, it's a sample customer, Elgin Avenue, order quantity 4, is the shipment date. So it will be submitted. And that finally ends the process. So within five minutes we've created a process using Google Docs and I've taken about well, less than two minutes to show you how the process is run in the cloud.